r slash ask reddit in your opinion, what is America's biggest problem? Also make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Lack of critical thinking. Or just common sense. There's no point for democracy when ignorance is celebrated. Unexpected NOFX. Excellent. Greed and lack of empathy. Yes. Finally someone. Living here now, everything is obsessed with money. Everything has a money option. I mean special part of a freeway you pay to so you can go faster. USA made every part of human life into a business. Human health. Yet also a business. Pay everywhere for a better, faster, more comfortable treatment. Creates huge income inequality that drags the country down. Also is in turn used by politicians to keep people divided. As an outsider looking in, politicians. The accor beholden to donors and corporate greed. Not seeing many, if any, decisions that are made in the best interests of ordinary people. Dishonest politicians is a symptom, money in politics is the cause. Get money out of politics would fix a lot of issues. Lobbying A two-party system First past the post plurality voting in single member districts is what causes the two-party system, the consequence is a phenomenon known as Guevara-Jericho's law. That is what creates the octlacer of two evil cycle phenomenon, as two major parties fight for close to 50% of the vote, but a plurality is all it takes, so if 40% is the biggest share, which can easily happen if an election has at least three candidates, they get elected even though 60% of voters did no cut want to hire them. Cost of healthcare I literally had to pay $3,000 for an ambulance ride that was like 5 miles where all they did was administer a saline drip and then when I got to hospital, they re-administered it. I had a seizure on the rooftop of my apartment building, someone called 911. I woke up when paramedics arrived and literally walked them down to my apartment saying I'm fine. No, I have epilepsy. This happens. I'll be fine. I was groggy and disoriented, as you are after a seizure, and they said they wouldn't let me refuse ambulance care. So they said I must have been dehydrated and tired. I basically had to pay $3,000 for them to put me in a bumpy ass ride and give me water through and for instead of my mouth. I'm still pissed. The inability to discern fact from opinion. Thatico's not local to USA. We did Brexit. Half of the country actively hates the other half and wishes harm upon them. Some of this is natural human tribalism, but there's a lot of factors exacerbating it. Just ran into a mild example of this on another sub. Idaho's as if the capacity for civil discussion is non-existent. Idaho's always oxyukery either for me or against Miyako. The government doesn't know cut look out for the regular people. Thinking that not only does your opinion matter, but that Idaho's a political matter. Oh, and that if you disagree with it, then fuck you. A general lack of unity among the American peoples and a major lack of empathy for one another. Selfishness and greed, imagine if we actually cared about one another. America needs more kindness and empathy emo. Yeah Idaho's crazy out there. I lost friends because I did no cut vote for a president last election. The fact that the primary concern of publicly traded companies is providing a return to shareholders. Not a responsibility to customers, employees, and community first and foremost. Shareholders shouldn't be discounted especially when they're employee or individual owned shares, but when it all becomes data and numbers and spreadsheets to massive financial firms buying vast percentages of companies, well, they can get bent. The burn everything down for a dollar today instead of a functional business with happy employees for 20 days approach needs to die. I'm definitely pro-capitalism, but I feel like this leads to all the issues with consolidation, monopolies, price gouging, low wages, no benefits, workers being exploited left slash right slash center, then the money makes its way into politicians' hands to keep it that way. The fact that public corporations are legally required, 
and have to make decisions to provide maximum profit to shareholders, is fucked. This leads to the shortest term thinking and treating employees as disposable assets. There was a time when companies cared about their employees. The modern world, where as much as possible is squeezed from people, is the bad place. No term limits for lawmakers. Term limits aren't going to be the fix to our democracy they seem like. It will only make politicians more beholden to lobbyists instead of their constituents. Everyone else is already gonna say this, but overpriced beef jerky. Everything else is fine. 1. Make your own reasonably priced beef jerky. 2. Sell out to overpriced competition. 3. Profit. The new American dream, get bought out by a monopoly. Arrogance driven by insecurity, accelerated by social media. The uncoupling of productivity and wages since 1980. Hyperpartisanship. More and more often, it seems like people can't disagree without villainizing those who they disagree with in the process. Divisions cannot be healed unless we can learn to disagree amicably again. I'm so old I remember when the party that didn't control the White House was called the Loyal Opposition. Now the party or a pretty can't say anything nice about the president without being chastised by others in their party. Lack of education, specifically in teaching people how to think critically about everything they come across. Too many people accept things at face value and develop an idea of a concept that with any amount of further research or thought would prove certifiably wrong. As an Australian. One healthcare. Two rank choice voting so you can break out of the two party system. Lobbyists. Stupidity or selfishness, take your pick. Both. Internet algorithms encouraging echo chambers. Absolutely, but this is a global issue, namely developed countries. The media is basically forced to push extreme viewpoints for clicks instead of advocating for finding common ground and middle of the road solutions that both sides can get behind. Stupidity. Corruption. Bribing officials considered legitimate in the name of lobbying. Without lobbying, thousands of children could have been saved who were brutally shot at their schools as a result of politicians selling their souls to the Rifle Association. Unlimited money in politics. Virtually all systemic US problems stem from that abomination. Concept that businesses doing well is more important than people doing well. General selfishness. The maximum political oct donation oct is indexed every year by inflation. The minimum wage is not. Until this is no longer true, we live in a plutocracy, and is anything but a democracy or a republic. It thinks Idaho's an adult, but Idaho's still a child. Being unable or unwilling to empathize with others. Treating capitalism like an absolute truth. Idaho's a good starting point to a system. Now we need an uncorrupt government to keep it from tuning all lives but the 1% to complete hell. Capitalism with appropriate and adequate regulation should be the standard. The cycle of deregulation people take aid advantage of deregulation everything gets fucked up we regulate things again fucks everything up and is so stupid. Citizens United. The two party system is only a fraction as bad as it is because the millionaires funding their campaigns are allowed to thanks to Citizens United. It basically ensures your average Joe will never have the financial ability to have a fair run for office. Idiots. 24 HR news cycle. Money. Not enough KP Barakuddles. Hedge funds, people don't like politicians for how corrupt they are but don't follow the money to the billionaire elites who fund the politicians, our financial market, and self-regulate. Resistance to change. Some places seek constant improvement but the US seems to be the opposite. 
they don't want health care because the Akub never had health care, they have a two-party system because they don't want to change it, all their laws are based on other laws the Akub had for 100 plus years, constitution arguments and such, their whole legal system is based on precedence, i.e., if someone else thought this way before then it must be right, the electoral college is still in place even though Idaho's outdated, wages have stagnated because why not, education barely gets updated. Because why should it? If they changed their mindset to be less nationalistic and more progressive it would solve a lot of their problems. Wealth inequity I suppose we'd have to sort by type. Economically, I'd say affordability of housing and healthcare, and a welfare system designed to give a disproportionate amount to one of the richest demographics, boomers, rather than those who actually need it. Also a decrease in productivity across several sectors of the economy. Societally. There's been a breakdown in shared national identity, leading to civil unrest, particularly in the political sphere. Also the rise of the internet is causing younger generations not properly develop social skills. And drastic decrease in the level of public trust in important institutions. And above all else the death of optimism about the future, replaced with intense nihilism and pessimism. Geopolitically. The prospect of a multipolar world order where authoritarian rivals like China and Russia seek to gain influence and attack our allies, oh, and the threat of nuclear annihilation that comes with that. Environmentally. Climate stuff, the fact that there's about a 40% chance a 9.0 or higher earthquake is going to hit the Pacific Northwest in the next 50 years and they're not ready for it at all, seriously look it up, and droughts in the Southwest. This could have been filed under multiple categories, lack of population growth, it's gonna hurt just about everything if we don't fix it. Money in politics and the regressive conservative movement preventing any meaningful change. The law and punishment system. Greed. It feeds every other problem. Unaffordable housing, why? Greed. Unaffordable health care, why? Greed. Unaffordable child care, why? Greed. Unaffordable education, why? Greed. Food insecurity, why? Greed slash climate change slash inflation. Although, truth be told, this is a worldwide problem. The inability to mind their own business and the perception that there is exactly one way to live your life and be a good, happy person. We want real change in our government yet we vote for the same people that screwed it up. Tribalism and guns. Social media, too many influences pulling people in every direction. Think for yourself. Religion in politics. Other Americans. Meaning. The fact that most people think it has no problems. I don't think this is true at all. I've never found a single person who thinks everything is fine. Evangelical Christianity. I have to specify evangelical, because everyone is entitled to their beliefs so long as those beliefs don't cause others harm, which the evangelical movement does. The followers are no cut bad, the accord just easily misled. Idaho's a cult, and anyone can fall prey to it, but so long as that leadership gets attention, it will only get worse. Kids getting killed at school. A lot of us are self-centered and only think about ourselves in the name of individualism. That's something corporations and politicians relish. Divide and conquer. Totally agreed. Americans. Bowie wrote a song about it. Wanna hear it? Here it goes. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark B equal sign LT3 ser VROQO. Financial insecurity. It makes hope hopeless which leads to violence and loss of empathy. Economic crisis leads to a rise in criminal activity. Greed. Mental health. 